Jojo la Pameri, Mofu la. Mofu, Chita. Mofu. Jojo Lopa. And welcome everyone to the eighth episode of Nepal Basa Classes series, a collaborative project between Pasa Putagut UK and the SOAS Neo Language Nepal Basa Society. Last time we learned how to ask about people's likes and dislikes. But Ojesh, what's today's topic? Today we will learn how to use two important expressions in Nepal Basa, that is ma and moi, used to convey the meaning of it is necessary, it is needed, you have to, or it's opposite. Our motto, as always, will be Nepal Basa, teach it, learn it, and speak it. Okay, let's start then. The structure we will learn today is very simple, using the verbs that we have already studied. Suppose that I want to say I have to work or it is necessary to work. In this case, I can say Jayama. Please repeat. Jayama. The structure of this expression is verb infinitive without suffix gu plus ma. So, Ojesh, this expression can mean both that I have to work now or more in general, that working is necessary. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. And what about its negative form? The negative form is very simple. You can say, jaya moi, meaning you don't have to work, or working is not necessary. Please repeat. Jaya moi. And the structure of the sentence is, verb infinitive without suffix gu plus moi. Are you ready to practice a bit? Sure. All right, I'll show you a plus or a minus next to the pictures. Please make the correct negative or positive statement using the structure below. For example, la tone ma, I have to drink water or drinking water is necessary. Now, the next one. Da naema. I have to eat or eating is necessary. Yes. And the next one. Ka lai ma. I have to talk or talking is necessary. And the another one. TV soe moi. I don't have to watch TV or watching TV is not necessary. Well done. Now the very last one. I don't have to write a letter or writing a letter is not necessary. All right, Odesh. We have learned how to use ma in the statement, but can I use it in questions too? Yes, absolutely. In this case, you can ask, mala? Do you have to work? Or is working necessary? The main structure in the sentence is Verb infinitive without suffix gu plus ma plus la. And there are two possible answers, one positive and one negative. The positive answer is ja yae ma, or simply yae ma, meaning I have to work or working is necessary. The negative answer is ja yae moi, or simply yae moi, meaning I don't have to work or working is not necessary. The main structure of the answers, as we already know, is verb infinitive without suffix gu plus ma or moi. Easy, right? Shall we practice a bit? Sure. Okay. I'll select some accents and I'll ask you the question. Please answer positively or negatively according to the plus or minus sign that will appear next to the images. Here is the first one. Safu boni mala. Do you have to read the book or is reading the book necessary? Bone ma. I have to read the book or reading books is necessary. Well done. Now the next one. Phone yae mala. Yae moi. And the another one. Mien yene mala. Mien ma. And another one, skule nyashewone mala. Do you have to walk to school 
or is walking to school necessary? Nyashi wonema. Well done. Now, the last one. Piakan lui mala. Piakan lui moi. Okay. Now, we have learned how to use ma and moi with verbs. However, we can also use them with nouns. For example, we can ask fon yaeta fon mala. This sentence has two meanings. On the one hand, it means do you need a phone in order to make a phone call? In this case, the context is that you have to make a phone call and I'm not sure whether you have your phone with you. So I ask if you need one. On the other hand, the sentence could also mean the general question, is a phone necessary to make a phone call? In this case, asking in general if in order to perform this action, a phone is necessary. The structure of this question is object plus verb infinitive with suffix ta plus subject plus ma plus la. The answer in this case can be ma, meaning yes, it is needed, or I need it. But if the answer is negative, you can simply say moi. So, Odesh, in this structure, the verb infinitive followed by the suffix ta means in order to do. Is that right? That's correct. So, for example, neta means in order to eat, tonita means in order to drink, and so on. But let's practice looking at the pictures below and it will become easier. Sure. For example, I can ask you, la ponita glass mala. Is a glass necessary in order to drink water or do you need a glass to drink water? Ma, yes, it is necessary or yes, I need it. Good. The next one. TV sweta, chasma mala. Are glasses necessary to watch TV or do you need glasses to watch TV? Moi. No, they are not necessary or no, I don't need them. Okay, the last one. Po sweta, chosa mala. Is a pen necessary to write a letter or do you need a pen to write a letter? Ma. Yes. It is necessary or yes, I need it. Well done, Mary. Now let's look at the last dialogue. Po tsueta chosa mala. Is a pen necessary or do you need a pen to write a letter? Ma. Yes, it is necessary or yes, I need a pen. We have just confirmed that in order to write a letter, you need a pen. But suppose that I don't know what is necessary or what you need in order to perform this action. In this case, I can ask you, Poetweta Tsuma, what is necessary to write a letter? Or what do you need to write a letter? You can answer, Chosama, a pen is necessary or I need a pen. Odesh, could you please explain the structure of these sentences? Sure, the structure of the question is, Object, in this case, po, plus verb infinitive, followed by suffix ta, plus tu, which is the question word meaning what, plus ma. Here, the question translates as, what do you need or what is necessary to write a letter? And the structure of the answer is, subject, in this case, chosa, plus ma, which can translate as, I need a pen, or pen is necessary. Shall we practice a bit? Sure. Okay, I'll show you some pictures. Please answer according to the hints provided. For example, TV swegu and sasma. To watch TV and glasses. I can ask you, TV sweta tsuma. What do you need to watch TV? Tasmama. I need glasses. Correct. And the next one. Jayagu and computer to work and computer. What can you ask? I can ask Jayaeta Chuma. What do you need to work or what is necessary to work? Computer ma. I need a computer 
or a computer is necessary. Okay, well done, Mary. Shall we practice a little bit more? I'll give you some new vocabulary as well. Sure. Okay, here's the first picture. Ela Tonegu and Salinta. Ela Toneta Chuma. Salinta Ma. Okay, and the next one is Tarkari Dekegu and Karai. Here we have some new words. Tarkari means vegetables and Dekegu literally means to make. But in this case, we can translate it as to cook. In Nepal Vasa, there are different ways of saying to cook according to the type of food that you're cooking. But for now, let's just learn Dekegu, which in this case is used for vegetables. And then we have karai. As we know from lesson four, karai is a special pot used to cook curry. So I can ask, Tarkari deketa tsuma. Karai ma. Correct. And the very last one, venegu and lapte. Voe, as we know, is a newar feast. And lapte is the leaf plate used in these occasions. So, what can you ask? I can ask, Bueneta chuma. Lapte ma. Or if I want to give a complete answer, I can say, Bueneta lapte ma. In order to eat ve, I need a leaf plate, or a leaf plate is necessary. Okay? All right. I think we're ready for a recap. Sure. In this part of the lesson, we learned how to ask Jaya Mala, meaning, do you have to work or is working necessary? And we learned that the structure of this question is object plus verb infinitive without suffix ku plus ma plus la. Then we also learned how to answer positively saying Jaya Ma or simply Jaya Ma and negatively saying Jaya Ma or simply Yae moi, using the structure verb infinitive without gu plus ma or moi. And in the second part of the class, we learned how to use ma and moi with nouns. So we asked, Pao chueta chosa mala, meaning, do you need a pen or is a pen necessary to write a letter? Using the structure object plus verb infinitive followed by suffix ta plus subject X, plus ma, plus la. And we learned how to answer positively by saying ma, or negatively by saying moi. And finally, in the third part of the lesson, we learned how to ask poetweta tsuma, what do you need, or what is needed to write a letter, using the structure object plus verb infinitive with suffix ta, plus tsu, plus ma. And we learned how to answer saying chosa ma, or a pen is needed. Thank you, Ojesh. I think we can stop here for today. We have learned a lot. Sure. Yeko, yeko, sube. You're welcome. See you again. Hanana pula. Hanana fly. Bye. Bye.